So one of the things that realtors really need to focus on in 2015 is where they're showing up on Google and why they're showing up there. Basically, the only way to impact where you're showing up online is through getting links to your website. And that can be a hard thing to do, right? So when you are Google, you have basically all the traffic online, like 80 to 90% of home buyers go to Google first. And they don't really want to go to Zillow, right? Like Zillow and Trulia, sure, they're, they're good, but they're just showing up first and that's why they're going there. They actually want specific local information, but it's hard to find. So it's your job to be the person who's easy to find on Google. And one way to do that is through getting links. And the easiest way to get links from other local businesses to your site is this thing called a who's who post. So what you can do is there are probably, let's say, five different neighborhoods you're trying to farm, you can actually create who's who posts or local posts about those five different neighborhoods. So if you're in San Diego, Hillcrest is a neighborhood community. And what you can do is just like Yelp ranks, you know, restaurants, bars, coffee places, plumbers, local people, you can do the same thing with the people you like to go, you know, to the coffee shop you like and the plumber you like. And here is the trick for having this help you sell more real estate. Right, so you can in your WordPress blog, um, you can see here are lead sites, the blogs are right here. You can have one on your own. Uh, basically, what you do is you go create a new blog post, and what you can do is you can list all the people here. You can have a short write up of them, link to their website, link to their Facebook. And then when you publish it and when you have it go live, you can create what's called a who's who logo. Here are a bunch of different images. They're just who's who. You can pick something like this and say who's who of Hillcrest San Diego. Um, just put Hillcrest San Diego on it or something. And then what you can do is you can send that image and the notification to the owner of that business via email and request that they put the badge on their website because when they put that badge on their website they're going to naturally link back to you you can give them the url that you want them to link back to and it's a great way to actually build up the number of people visiting your website and linking to it and that's actually the key indicator to google to raise your site up for ranking for a specific keyword or term so assuming everything else on your site's correct, getting those links will actually help you get more presence. So I hope this helps you get some idea. You know, it's a blog post. It'll probably take you an hour or two to come up with the 10 shops and then maybe you can hire someone uh, on Odesk or something to write the article for you, find that image, maybe a total of three or four hours, but it can really get you a lot of links back to your site from local entities and in the process help you have a better SEO presence throughout the next five, six years. So it's something where you're trading a small amount of time now for a great presence over the next couple of years. It's a really great tool. Hope it helps you. Like this video if you like this content. Go visit easyagentpro.com. I'm Tyler with Easy Agent Pro. Talk with you next time.